Hi, hello, welcome to Martin Math. We are continuing our IGCC preparation with the core paper one. Hope you've been watching the other videos on the earlier questions. Looking at question 10 to 13, my guest presenters are going to help me through it. The first one says, write down the letters for all shapes that are congruent. Which shapes are exactly the same size and shape? A and E. So A and E. Any and others? And don't forget D. Oh, yes, of course. So G, E, and A. Then the next question says, use one of the symbols, greater than, less than, or equal to, to make the following statement correct. So we've got 7 25ths and 1 fifth. What do I do there? Okay, so the denominator has to be the same, which is 25, and it's going to be 5 over 25, which makes 7 over 25 bigger. Bigger. Okay, so 7 25ths is bigger than 1 fifth. So you've used equivalent fractions and finding the same denominator to compare them. Excellent. The next question says 5e minus 4f minus e plus 3f, and we've got to simplify that. What do I do there? You collect the like terms, so you subtract 5e and e to get 4e. So you've got 4e. And then you subtract 4f and 3f. So you subtract get them, or minus 4f yeah, minus plus 4f 3f. Plus 3f. Yeah. So you get minus 1f. Okay. And I don't need to write that one, I can just write minus f. So 5e minus e is 4e, minus 4f plus 3f is minus f. Fantastic. And then to the last of this page, it's a football question, so you need some uh, local knowledge, might help you, but we should still be able to work it out. There are 30 students, five of them uh, favor Chelsea, six like Liverpool, 12 like Middlesbrough, four like Preston, and three like West Ham. And we've got to draw a pie chart to show this information. What's the first thing we need to find? We want to get the fraction of each of the teams. So they've asked here to work out the sect angle for Liverpool. What fraction of the students like Liverpool? Six, Six over 30. Six over 30, because the total was 30 and 6 uh, like Liverpool. And what's that as a simplified fraction? 1 over 5. 1 over 5. And then we know that in a pie or a circle, how many degrees are there? 360. So we want to find one-fifth of 360. And what is one-fifth of 360? 72. Okay, so you could do some short division, and you'd get 72. So there we go. That's Martin Maths. That's two, four, five, six marks, just in a couple of minutes. And that's helpful for the core paper. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching. Goodbye from all. Bye! Bye.